morning third grade and happy Thursday. Today is the last day of April 2020. Today we celebrate National Animal Rescue Day. Here is my animal that we rescued. Isn't she sweetheart? This is Evie and she's the one that tries to cause ruckus behind me this week. Huh? It is also National Mr. Potato Head Day. Those of you that are Toy Story fans know who Mr. Potato is. Your parents definitely know because we used to play with them when we were little. Some of you may have them as well, but they've become more popular with the Toy Story again. Also, today is National Bugs Bunny Day. Looney Tune fans, it's his day, so Maybe watch some Toy Story or some Looney Tunes today. All right, let's get to our schedule. Today is Thursday, April 30th. Like I said, the last day of April. Tomorrow we will start May. We will start May. All right, so today in reading, you're gonna do a vocabulary review on Vocabulary City. Two games, make sure you do both of them, and that will be it for vocabulary. Then you're going to also, on our website, read Susan B. Anthony Takes Action. It's a short story about Susan B. Anthony. I'm betting you see the theme of our stories this week. Dolores Huerta, um, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and now Susan B. Anthony. So five really strong, not five, four really strong influential women in history. So that was kind of our theme, even though it's about citizenship, it was talking about how women have had such a role in citizenship and in made such an impact in our country, uh, it's where we are today. So you're going to read about Susan B. Anthony and then there are some questions. Please make sure you go back to the story do not say that you cannot because you can. You might have to have it in two tabs or two windows or whatever, but you can always go back to the story to find the question, find the answers to the questions. Oh, here comes food. Also, a good thing to do is to read through the questions first. We've done that in class, we've talked about that. Read the questions on the Google form first before you read the story then you have an idea, you've set in your mind those kind of things that you're going to be looking for. And we've done that a lot, we did that a lot back when we were in class together. Continue doing it on your own now. Okay, so vocabulary and Susan B. Anthony. That's today's reading. Spelling, speedy speller in Spelling City. Don't forget your test is tomorrow. So practice those words. We have our test tomorrow. English, we're still working on adverbs. Today you're going to hear a story that was like Dearly Nearly Insincerely, but it's the second version. And this one is called Lazily Crazily Just a Bit Nasally. And you are going to listen to a video of someone you know reading that story to you. It is on our website, but it's also linked in in the seesaw um, assignment. So you can find it either place. But you can watch it just on our website. Mm, she's gonna take that tree down. She almost did once. I'm not sure. You may see a disaster happen behind me here. Uh, so you're going to listen to this story, ladies. <laughs> lazily, crazily, just a bit nasally. Um, and then you're going to, in seesaw, you're going to, there's a lesson. It's a multi-page lesson. It's a story. I'm going to go over the directions with you. So you'll have to listen to the directions like you did with math to yesterday. But today you're going to listen to the directions and you're going to be looking today for adverbs that tell how. How something is done. He ran how quickly or slowly. Those kind of words. So in this story, you're going to follow the directions. I'll give you that. I'll give you an example on the first page. And then for pages, I think it's three to eight, you're going to read the rest of the story and circle the adverbs that tell how, not the adverbs that tell where or when 
or how often, only the ones that tell how. Please follow the directions on that today. Okay? So that is our English. Math. Math is pretty simple today. We've been talking about measurement, the standard measurements this week. Inches, feet, yards, miles. Today you're going to have to take a little quiz on that. It is standard measurement um, review quiz. All it is is it gives you some pictures and um, four choices of which, which size, which, what the measurement would be of each of those objects. Okay, so that's what you'll be doing in math today. That's it. So it's not too much. Religion, sacraments of healing today. Thank you to those of you that sent me your communion pictures or your baptism pictures yesterday since we talked about sacraments of Christian initiation, baptism, first Holy Communion or Eucharist, and confirmation. Like I said, you've done baptism and communion so far, and in about five years or so, you'll do confirmation, okay? And I hope you enjoyed my first communion pictures on there a long time ago, but that was me making my first communion at a church that some of you may be familiar with. I was at St. Bartholomew's Church in Penn Hills. That's where I grew up and that's where I went to church and made my first communion, made my confirmation, all of that. So those were me way long ago. All right, so sacraments of healing today. There's two sacraments of healing that you're gonna learn about today. You're going to read pages 176 and 177. I know I say this every day, but if you, I wish I didn't have to, um, make sure you read the book, read it and go back to it to answer the questions, please. I begged you yesterday and yet I still saw some, to, I begged you two days ago and I still saw some when I was checking yesterday that were a little bit, uh, I'm not sure you read. So make sure you're reading those pages before you answer the questions. And then finally, social studies. Social studies, we're going to link to what we've been talking about in reading, and we're going to be looking at a Brain Pop Junior. So the link takes you to Brain Pop Junior, but your login is the same as Brain Pop, and you're going to watch a video I have to do this, sorry about that, sorry, my battery's running low. We're gonna watch a video about Susan B. Anthony, and a lot of what you hear in there should sound familiar from the story, and then you're going to um, take a little quiz, one of their little five-point quizzes, and do a timeline, a short little timeline. That's it, to kind of tie us in to what we've been talking about in reading this week, okay? So that's pretty much it today. Remember, you have vocab and Susan B. Anthony story for reading, spelling practice with one game. Make sure you know your words for tomorrow's test. Adverbs that tell how today in lazily, crazily, just a bit nasally. And then you're going to do that lesson on seesaw. Math, little quiz on measurement religion, sacraments of healing, and social studies, Brain Pop Jr., Susan B. Anthony once again. Okay, that's it for today. I do need to address something with you, and I already said something briefly, following directions. You need to make sure you're reading the directions. I know that I'm not there with you to give you the exact directions like I do when I'm in class, but I try to point them out as best I can. They're at the top. They, I'm, they might be there three times. And I'm still seeing things that I know if you would have read the directions, you would have not made the mistakes you did. So make sure that you read all of the directions on all of your assignments from now on, okay? I don't want to have to send them back to you to redo, okay? Again, questions, emails, or my messages, whatever. Remember, tomorrow are your reading tests, spelling tests, vocabulary tests. Um, have something real fun planned for math tomorrow. So um, you're going to be doing it on your own. It can be a family thing. I'll talk to you about that tomorrow morning. So until then, bye-bye.